Just out towards our east, though, we do see that those stronger showers and thunderstorms are still circulating with that low pressure system well off towards our east in that border between Illinois and Indiana. We do have rain chances making our way, but it's not going to be from that low pressure system. So let's go into your hour by hour forecast. We see that skies will begin to clear. This will actually allow some of us to wake up to some patchy fog in the early morning as temperatures will be starting off but fairly cooler than what we've seen by afternoon on Monday. Plenty of sunshine for your Labor Day and Tuesday morning is when we actually do have another cool front that's going to be knocking on our door, bringing us more rain chances into the area. So let's take a look at how Tuesday will play out. We see clear skies, but by the late afternoon and coming into the evening hours, so we do see some showers making its way into the northern parts of mid Missouri. The dry spell has only lasted for a few days as we start off our week. For tonight, we'll fall into the upper 60s. We will see some clouds and some patchy fog, possibly for some of those areas, especially for the lake. And for tomorrow on Labor Day, 90 degrees with highs and mostly sunny. Another hot and humid day, though. Here's your seven day forecast, and we do have temperatures in the 90s for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Rain chances are looking better on Wednesday for the next game on Columbia from Mizzou on Saturday. It looks like mostly sunny skies and temperatures comfortable in the 70s. For Jefferson City, we do have a nice day for tomorrow. 90s heating up once again on Tuesday to 93. Rain chances coming on Wednesday and dry for Thursday with seasonal temperatures in the 80s, cooling down into the 70s for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. As for the lake, similar conditions. We see rain chances on Wednesday and sliding in once again on Friday as temperatures will be in the 70s for next Saturday and Sunday.